but he really can soak up pressure from the best. He's taken on the best, and he's proved a handful for the best. And I'm talking Axelsons, Shi Yu Chi's, Li Shi Feng's, that level idea of delaying matches and, and you know all that other stuff, gamesmanship, court crop, you name it. But in terms of shot quality and skills, he's got it all. And there's that big smash from Lizzy Jia. Around for Lizzy Jia. You know, not so long ago, he was actually a very despondent young man who was talking about quitting badminton forever. But that's when Wong Tat Meng stepped up and is really but don't in any way think it's 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 a shoe in because there are some great great players going. As you've come to realize, even you now throughout the week, I'm a big fan of players being quite individual. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that, I think I agree with you. I think it's important for them, you know, that that. It's a nice slice by, <coughs> excuse me, easy jab. Perfect. Been guilty of a couple of errors. It's a nice return by easy jab. Oh. Was Super 750 against Kenta Nishimoto. Last year, a classic. His court coverage obviously is excellent. He's got that low center of gravity. Always oh, caught out there, though. Fun. Uh, uh, launch power in his feet to do the shot. Well, physically, certainly. You were saying so is he just trying to stretch Narioka immediately that's good recovery from him it's a tied to Ying special that one yeah lost it but what a run he had in Malaysia for that it was all hundreds oh no there was also Singapore open super 500 against Ginting so on bad scene about men singles and and youthful players not really um, managing the feet ever since uh, Lin Dan's um, early. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty developed rally. See chart foot off the pedal a little. Oh, I was about to say, no, he went for the big shot. 50 shot rally. So wins. They were straight. They yeah. were straight, yeah. He wasn't behind the scoreline when he won his matches, so at some point he had to prove that. I'm sure his task at hand is going to be to try and finish it off in straight games. Good point. Because that's going to be the ultimate. Uh, it's just unbalanced to go to three. Certain players, you should. I can tell you there was in Singapore, and there certainly was in Indonesia. But these are traditionally known to have those gusty conditions. Yeah, certainly, while well, the crowd even knows that this is a sparring session. But this is great flat play from Narioka. He's giving CGR absolutely nothing to use. And now he's got him out of position. Fast serve from Kodai. Caught out a little there. Caught out a lot there. win scenario for Kodai now playing at the slightly better side of the court and he's come out big
Awesome. Is he knows Kodai's uh, reactions, and he's just being urgent on certain shots, going in earlier. But in the end... All the time in the world, Kodai, to have a look at that. It's almost looking a bit more Momota-esque, because Momota mm. habitually played like that, footwork-wise. There's always urgency. Oh, that's gone long. Scrim setting up third games for his opponent. I, I don't understand why he does it. He comes up. Full guns blazing in the first game. In the second game, somehow, no matter what ranking you are, someone with such a killer smash has to learn how to put these second games away. That's gone out. Him to make a read like that at the back, that is questionable. Kodai's now free to find that, uh, that attacking flair. And there's the complication of. Intentionally experimenting anything. Yeah, I think he was he was actually looking for the lines <laughs> But I said I, I Risky to Banking on a three-game strategy against Kodai Narioka, and that one's a match I see from Kodai as well. The first game's a little bit muted, and then before he knows he's in trouble, he turns into Super Kodai, and then he's a serious handful for people. Out. Mixed doubles and women's doubles these days. Maybe that's how it's going to go. There's too much masculinity on these men's singles courts these days. S slowly the realism of, of what happens. And uh, as I said, I've been doing a fair few... That's what I mean. Well, reverse backhand um, kills, sells tickets. Yeah, even. and uh, from that position in the court as well. It's very big. It's very high. Forces the mistake. Oh, wonderful from Kodai. Good. How did he get that back? Is that? A no, I think he was thinking about the shot, not thinking about the match. Oh, it's wonderful from Kodai Mai. Ah, difficult shot to do. He was in position. Uh, well, anyway, I take that back. Damn. It had to hit the tape. Defense from Easy Jump. Great recovery from and the second one. That's three games here in the men's singles as well. In this phase, at the end of this phase of play, Kodai is that second game. And he's been saving his energy for this, the last phase. Of game two, game three, sorry. Amazing, but I've just a marked change from Zija on the worst side of the court. No! 
Chow. He's a different CJ. He's accurate. He's committed. He's up for it. Really is going to be a shootout till the end. Oh. That was good body defense from Kodai. <laughs> Lift to the back. That. What he's been doing. Oh, 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 look at that. This. It's a quick serve from Naroka. Oh, that's out. Oh, Goes for the body. What a return. That's in. That's out. So, easy job. He's pushed it wide and he's done it. 118. Easy job. So happy. Not if he did. Just make singles. He's the new Australian Open singles champion. And it's two titles out of three finals.